Hey, I'm Dan with New My Group, and I'm going to show you guys how to provision or enroll an EDU tablet into Google Play for education. So I have two tablets here. The one on top is a student tablet. Uh, it's freshly factory wiped, and if you want to know how to do that, uh, I just recorded a video and uploaded that on how to factory reset or wipe an EDU tablet. I'll make sure to put that down in the show notes. Uh, but this is the welcome screen. This is where you need to be. Um, make sure you haven't clicked start or accessibility or anything like that. If you did, you'll have to go through that factory reset process. So again, that link will be down in the, in the show notes. But um, I'm going to put this tablet on the side as this one's ready to go. And I want to focus on the teacher tablet. So on the teacher tablet or the provisioning tablet, however your school or district uh, would like to work on these is fine. But there's an app called Google EDU Device Setup. And I'm going to walk you through this really quickly and show you guys how to tap two Samsung Tab 4s together. So I'm working on a single student device, so I'm going to click one student per device. Uh, and not only that, some tablets can have more than one student per device. The Samsung Tab 4s can only have one, so this is the option we're choosing. Uh, I'm logging in as our teacher account, which is able to provision. You're going to have to set your own up, and we'll have videos on how to set that up and make sure that uh, certain users within your organization have the right permissions to be able to provision. Um, I do have my student account info ready because I'm provisioning a single student. I know what the login is uh, for this single student. And so I'm gonna continue uh, down that path, just checking out the back to see which student it is. I'm provisioning a single device, so I'm gonna choose that and continue down with the arrows. Now here's where I'm going to uh, put in my student information really quickly um, and it's the student login information is what you're going to want to put in and um, so you're going to want to make sure that the student device is is positioned in here and you're going to click next it's going to verify to make sure that that user is in your domain now you're going to set a pin uh, this could be different for every device. It could be different for every classroom. Uh, this is more like find out what your district or school or IT admin would like to do for convention here. Um, but this is very important. We know what our pin is, so I'm just going to continue on. It's going to warn you about certain items or things to keep in mind before you start. So I'm now ready to bump. I've got my teacher device ready for our student Django. I have our student tablet ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the device and align it in the exact same way. As you can see, there are the start button, same direction. I want to make sure both screens are on. And I'm just going to lay one on top of the other. You're going to hear a quick sound that um, alerts that they've seen each other. And you're going to see that the student tablet has started to provision itself. I like to leave the tablet right where it's at. Let it go through uh, the three provisioning steps. And then, and then take it off. So as you can see, we're already through down to connected to Google. And what it's doing at this point is the tablet is grabbing all of your organizational rules, your EDU um, uh, tablet rules, student, uh, uh, student login information, profile information. It's also gonna lock certain portions of the device from the student, meaning that for any settings to be changed or the device to be wiped, you're gonna need that admin code. So it's really uh, important to make sure you keep track of that PIN number. So as you can see, it started to connect it to certain Wi-Fi networks, which it's also pulling uh, from Google uh, and your, your Google Play for EDU account. Um, and so this device is just going to provision uh, itself. It's gonna finish. Um, and if we look at the teaching device, it currently says that it's activating um, the student one. It says when it's complete, you can click done and you're back at the beginning and you can reprovision another single device. Um, that's how you provision a Android EDU tablet into Google Play for education. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna be putting more out there on how to provision multiple devices quickly. And again, if you wanna know how to factory reset because maybe something didn't work out, uh, I'll have that down in the show notes. Again, I'm Dan with New My Group. Thanks for watching.